Hi everyone, this is a quick message. So it's, this is, oh my god, the last few days have been so freaking stressful in a ridiculous way. Yesterday, after work, I decided to get food for my crewmates who were still at work. So I went to a couple of different locations to get them food. First stop was Taco Bell, and I went inside to get them food, yada, 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 and then I went to Domino's. While I was leaving Domino's, I discovered I didn't have my phone. Ah! I couldn't find my fucking phone. It was so fucking frustrating. So I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god, what did I do? So luckily, I went right back to Taco Bell, and my phone was in the grass. I was like, oh, thank god I found my phone. Now, obviously, God is trying to punish me, because today I went to the movies. And that's lovely. I went to go see Belle, which is a lovely movie. And I was actually going to go see X-Men Days of Future Past again after Belle. And I had bought the ticket and everything. So I was in the lobby and, you know, there were some video games. So I'm like, I'll use some video games. And so I had my phone out a little bit, just messing with it for a little bit. And then I put it away. Now the thing is, I don't know where I put it away. Did I put it in my pocket, uh, jacket pocket? Did I put it in my pants pocket? I don't know. Did I put it in the purse that I was carrying? I don't know where I put it, but I put it away. So then I got tokens for the games and I was playing uh, various games. It was Time Crisis and then there was a hunting game which was boring and then I played a Fast and Furious driving game. So then I'm like, okay, it must be almost time for X-Men Days of Future Past. So I go to check my phone to see how tired it is because I don't want to watch. Can't find my phone. Okay, I can't find my phone. Obviously it's around here somewhere, right? It must be around. Oh my god, I can't find my phone. I go to the front, I go to the good services, I can't find my phone, can you help me find my phone? No, oh, did you live in the theater? No, I didn't live in the theater. <laughs> now, even more frustrating is this is a theater I don't typically go to. It Because this is like the fifth week and that always, a uh, bell is a limited release or whatever. So it's not in a theater that's really close to me. This isn't hardly far away. It's just not the theater I usually go to. And I am horrible with directions and I barely ever know where I'm going, and I have to use my phone's GPS to get places. So at this point, I'm going, I can't find my phone. I had one of the ushers helping me try to find it. We could not find it. So it's either in the trash, somewhere completely ridiculous, or it's been stolen. I don't know. Honestly, I have no freaking clue what happened to my phone. My phone is gone. Zip. <laughs> so he luckily was able to pull up his GPS and give me directions back to my house. And luckily I hit a road that I knew and I was like, okay, I know this road, I know where to go from here. And that was less panicky, but still uh, intensively anxious at that point. And they were like, if we find your phone, uh, give us your number so we can call you. I'm like, but that is my number. I don't have another number, but that number. Is there anyone else we can call to give you? It's like, no, I live by myself. I mean, man, if you could call somebody else, I don't know their number because I only know my number. Because I can't memorize things like numbers very easily. It was just, oh my God. So when I get home, I go on here. I find the local AT&T store. I go there. I get a new phone. Yay. But at this point, I have no one's information. Not a zip, zero, zilch. No friends, no family, nothing. I got nothing. Because I save all of my, I save all the phone numbers, the addresses, the birthdays on my phone. Which, because my phone it was annoying, never actually synced up to any of my accounts. My Yahoo account never fully synced up calendar-wise. My Gmail account, which I hate and never really use, never synced up really. So it's not on Google Calendar either, which is frustrating. So. I have nothing. So here's my thing. I know I actually didn't have any of your information. I'm talking to my Tumblr friends. But if any of you wanted to give me your phone numbers for text messaging purposes, give me your phone numbers. Cool. Just tell me who you are beforehand, because I have no idea who I am most days. And if I don't know who I'm talking, if I don't know who you are, then it's gonna be complicated. I'll even give you my email address in return. Just message me on Tumblr. We'll exchange emails, phone numbers, if you want to. I'd love to talk to people more often outside of Tumblr or whenever. But that was my story. I just, I think is, somebody, my sister once said, why do you do these videos to talk to people on Tumblr when you could write things on Tumblr? And the thing is, is that, oh, she for one, just encourages me when using Tumblr or the internet. But words are really 
hard. So typing them is hard. They look wrong. I don't like them. They don't say what I want them to say. Even when I'm talking, I don't say what I want to say. It mean to say something else or in a different way. But at least I'm getting the words out there and I'm putting them out there regardless. Typing, I delete everything so quickly because it just doesn't look right. But videos are different. But once again, if I follow you and you follow me and you want to give me your phone number, email, please. I'd love to talk to you guys more. I love all of you. I'm sorry I've been very non-communicative lately. I'm just in a downward, which is never fun. I'm hoping to get back up there soon, but we'll see how long that takes. But once again, please, um, I'd love to talk to you guys about Glee, about Doctor Who, about Orphan, is the Orphan Black, or uh, Teen Wolf, or anything, really. I'm up for almost every single topic. The new Sailor Moon. Just, I'd love to talk to that, you guys, share e e emails, your phone numbers, and that's what this is. This is uh, another ramble fest, so uh, that was uh, about my phone, and thank you guys for listening. Remember, if you want to give me your email or phone, or phone thing, message me on Tumblr and ask, or a uh, submit, or a direct message, whatever it is. Do that, and we'll talk, and I'd love to talk to you guys. Because, yeah, I'm lonely. I'm a sad, lonely white girl. Wasn't there? Never mind. I'm going to go off topic if I think that, but still love to hear from any of you guys, and I will only respond if I've had communication with you, like, in the past. If I don't know who you are, I probably would be like, thanks, but I'm not close enough to you. Most of you would probably give me your information is fine because we probably already talk a little here and there. I'm rambling. Uh, this is why this is called Ramble Fest. But uh, I'd love to talk to all of you. Talk to you later. Hopefully, an email or phone form or text messaging. Toodles!